Jenny, how you doing? Good job, looking fantastic. Really good, good job with your typographic hierarchy. I mean, there's no question you want the, the viewer to start here typographically, then move here, then move here. That's fantastic. I think one thing you probably could do, I think MacBook Pro might be a little bit small. I would increase the scale on that just a touch. This is a nice relationship. Good job using sans serif for the headline, serif for the subhead and body copy. Good job. Wonderful typographic variety right there. Rags look pretty good. Nice job there. Uh, letting tracking, nice, nice uh, uh, typographic color here. Not too dense, looking fantastic, looking really good. Typography looks fantastic. Um, as I said, we've got this diminishing hierarchy, headline, subhead, body copy, uh, captions. But the only thing I'm seeing here is, is this, yeah, this subhead I think could be a little bigger. That MacBook Pro could just be a, a couple of points larger. Okay. Um, over here, you've got these numbers. See if you can fit old style numerals in there. Technically, these bullets right here should be hanging, hanging punctuation. It's in your uh, lecture materials this week. So take a look at that. I'm not even really sold. You know what, I'm gonna download this really quick. I'm sorry, I should, I'm gonna get in closer here. This will just take one second. Here we go, should open up immediately. And there we go. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not thoroughly convinced that you need those. I would use the space between. There's not enough here to to uh, use bullets, and the you what, technically what you would want to do here is you want you would want to hang these bullets anyways, and the way that you treat bullets is these would be hanging punctuation. Okay, so here's your left margin. The bullet would be hanging off the margin. The six would be in alignment with the I, okay? But I don't think there's enough here. Oh, and also the second line would be in alignment with, with the six too. So the, align, the, the second line would not align with the bullet, okay? And you can see how to hang punctuation. It's in your lecture material. And I don't know if you used InDesign or Illustrator to compose here, but you could just do a quick Google hanging punctuation in Illustrator or how to hang punctuation in, in uh, InDesign. Okay, but I'm not convinced we even need this here. What I would do is I would just say includes, a little bit of, of hierarchy on includes, reduce this file, this uh, type size here, and then just maybe place a space between instead of the bullets. Do you see what I'm saying? I think that'll really clean up some of the, these weird spaces right here. Okay. Um, all right, I think the ad, uh, the ad, I think the composition itself is a little bit cluttered. And I say that because I, I see what you're doing right here. You're adding this image here to show a result, apparently of the result of the image being used. But technically, here's the, the dominant image. Here's the object. Here's the object being used. It must show an image of the result of using the object. That's kind of covered in this, this image here. So this image is just doing double duty, technically, right? We don't need this, Danny. We can get rid of this, and that's going to open up a lot of negative space, and that's really going to add a, a lot of white space, much-needed white space to the ad. So I, I would say get rid of this, this, just keep these components here, here, and here. Recompose so that we can, and I wouldn't mind seeing this in alignment here, so we can actually move this over, move this down, move this over, get some alignment there, and really open up some, some negative space. Okay, those are my recommendations. The good news is that you're you're doing fantastic. I mean, I think typographically this is this is it's looking good. It's looking very good. Okay, um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know, Danny. I'll be glad to address anything that comes up. Thank you very much.